Ben 10 has got to be one of the strongest cartoon characters ever made. I mean, he can literally turn into tons of different aliens with a special watch on his wrist. How cool is that? Well, as it turns out, I think it's insanely cool because I am a massive fan of Ben 10. So I added Ben 10 into Minecraft with the ability to turn into all sorts of crazy powerful aliens. Now I'm going to play as Ben 10 to see if I can survive 100 days in game. All while the villain Vilgax and his cronies try and stop me. Will Ben 10's alien powers be enough to get me to day 100 or will Vildax finally defeat Ben 10? On day one, I spawned in as Ben 10. However, right now, I don't have my Omnitrix, which is a massive problem because Vilgax and his three cronies are behind me on that big spaceship. So first things first, we need to get that Omnitrix if we want to be able to survive. Now, the second I leave this little rock area, they can come down and start attacking me. So let's look around for an area to go to. Now, I see a fire through the trees over that way and that's really all I can see. So we're going to go that way and just see what happens. Ready? Okay, get ready and go, 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 go. Get him! Get them, boys. Quick, in the trees. Oh, my God. There's TNT. They're shooting TNT at me, it looks like. Okay, let's go in here. <gasps> the Omnitrix. I found it. Okay, here we go. Let's grab it. And there we go. Now we have the Omnitrix. But, oh, God. They're, they're beating me up. Oh, that's an alien. Hold on. There's two on me. Oh, God. <laughs> this get way, this way, this way. Let's get up here. I have 44 dirts of all those explosions. That's really going to help me get away. Oh, God. There goes a TNT flying by me right there. Ooh. Okay, let's go up here. Get back here, kid. Ah! Okay, two of them fell, two of them fell. Real quick, while I'm on this tree, you're gonna notice when I have the Omnitrix on, I can open my Omnitrix menu, where I'm gonna unlock tons of different aliens that Ben 10 turns into in the actual show. But first, we gotta escape and get away from these guys. Get back here. Oh, wait, was one on me? Oh, there's one below me. Okay, blocked him off. Ah. Get this one off, there we go. Ah. He died, nice. Oh. Knock him down. Hey. Ah. Okay, there we go, he's running, he's running. Let's go this way, let's go this way. I see you, Ben 10. Okay, there's two right behind me. We're gonna need to make a boat or something. Here we go, there's some trees up here. Let's grab some wood. Oh, they're right behind me. I'm not gonna be able to grab three wood. Wait. I'm gonna get you, Benson. One more, one more. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get this in time. We're not getting this in time. Ooh. No, we got it, we got it. Ugh. Okay, real quick. Let's turn these into planks. Turn these into a crafting table. There we go. You're going down, Benson. Hey. I hit him down. Oh, God, our health is getting low. Let's use this crafting table and quickly make a boat. There we go, we have a boat. There's TNT over there. We gotta be careful. Okay, this way, quick. Get him. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're in the boat, we're moving. Make no. boats. Okay, let's get away before they can build, make boats. You're not yeah. getting away that easily. Oh, wait, they already have boats. Oh, God. We gotta go. Okay, to get rid of these guys, we have to use our Omni tricks. Because the trick I used to normally escape using boats is not working, clearly. We're aliens. We're not stupid. Okay, let's quickly get into this mangrove biome so that way we can climb up these trees and actually look at our Omni tricks and make a plan. Okay, let's just get over here off the boat. Let's go here. I got an idea. I got a way to lose them here. Ready? Let's go into these trees and watch this. Back here, kid. Okay, we're just gonna hold shift here for a sec. Where'd he go? They literally don't see us. Oh, there's one right next to us. Where'd he go? Do you see him up there? Okay, while they're looking for us, let's quickly look through our Omnitrix. You're gonna see the Omnitrix is full of aliens that I can transform into. With the first one being Heat Blast. And I can unlock him simply by killing 25 mobs with fire, breaking a flint and steel, discovering a ruined portal, and killing Vilgax and one of his cronies. Now, if you haven't seen Heat Blast in the actual show, he's OP. I mean, look at this. I'm here to help. He's crazy powerful. And I need him if I'm going to survive this situation. I literally only have three and a half hearts left. First things first, it says we can discover a ruined portal. So let's just run away from Vilgax until we find one of those. Okay, let's get going. Let's get going. I see I him. Oh, there was literally one right there. Get him on top of the mangrove trees. I thought they were gone. Why are they still in the mangrove? I saw them leaving. We need to find a ruined portal quick. Okay, go, go, go. We got time to He's over this eat. way. Good. Go, we got some hunger back. Let's kill this pig. Come on. How much health do you have? Oh my goodness, we need to go. I <laughs> see them. Oh, they're right on me. Use the water, use the water. Oh, they're right on us. They're punching a cow, I hear them. Nice, we're swimming. Oh, he's on me. Go, yes, get him. Nice, we're super low on health. Go, go, go. Going into the desert. Thank God a village. Get some food while we're here. Hay bales, hay bales. Yes. You can't run I see their names. Oh, there's a ton of hay here. You can't run forever, Ben 10. They're on me, they're on me, they're on me. This way, quick up here. Oh, we need to turn this into bread. We don't have enough wood. We're one wood short. Rise, man! Yeah. We got him down, we got him down, we got him down. Go this way. Okay, and pop up here. There we go. Oh, he's running this way! Okay, go, 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 this way. We need to get to a tree. We need to get some health because we have two hearts, but they're right on me. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to break this wooden time. Go, you go, can't go, run go, go, forever! Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm gonna sprint! Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, they're on us, they're on us, they're on us. We don't have time to craft it, we don't have to craft it. I got an idea, though. I got a way to do it. Ready? Jump over here. Get back here! TTs blow us. Bread, <laughs> bread. Nice, eat it. They're coming up. Rise, Ben! Oh, we're low. No! We're on one heart. He's below us. We have two of them dead. It's just us versus Vilgax. Oh. I'm gonna get a TNT up there. Watch out. I'm just gonna keep healing. We got three blocks. We got three blocks. I have an idea. And. Yes!
Yes! Okay, we made it nice. Go, 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 go. Vilgax is way back there. We can lose him here. We can lose him here. This is our chance. Oh, an abandoned portal. That's one of our quests. What do we have? Oh, nuggets, a flint and steel. We have everything we need. Oh, we can unlock heat blasts using this stuff. Let's throw on these boots. Oh, he sees us. Let's go back to that crafting table we had a second ago. We need to get up to that crafting table up there. Oh, that TNT's right below. Turn these nuggets into ingots. Make some sticks. Now we have an iron sword. There we go. Let's go near him. Oh, what are you gonna do with TNT? What are you gonna do with TNT? Yes! Go! They're all dead! Okay, we escaped Vilgax. And we already finished our first quest in unlocking Heat Blast. Now let's quickly finish unlocking him before Vilgax and his cronies come back. First things first, we gotta kill some mobs while they're on fire. So let's light this sheep on fire. And now let's kill him with our sword. And now let's do that 25 more times. Okay, there we go. We've officially killed 25 things on fire. Next, all we have to do is break a flint and steel. And then we just gotta kill Vilgax or one of his cronies, which is really easy to do. So first things first, let's just break our flint and steel that we've been using. But uh, and now let's go find one of his cronies. Cause they're probably back at spawn. And now that I have this sword, and they're not much of a threat. Let's just grab some bread real quick. And now that we got tons of bread, let's head to spawn. Okay, we're back at spawn. Oh, I see one, I see one. Oh, he sees me. Or not. Kill him quick, kill him quick. Ooh. Yes, he's dead, he's dead. Go, get out of here, get out of here. Go this way before they can find me. Sweet, and just like that, we can unlock our first alien, Heat Blast. But since Vilgax and his crew don't know where I am, for now, let's just sneak away and we'll turn into Heat Blast later. On day two, I found Vilgax and his cronies at spawn, gathering all sorts of starter supplies. And they really did not expect me to attack them this soon because I got all the kills I needed and got out before they even realized what was happening. After the attack, I went off and started building my first survival base. Got all the essentials I needed. Now, if we're gonna survive, against the massive Vilgax and his henchmen, I'm gonna need more aliens in my arsenal. So I've got to unlock my next alien in my Omnitrix the second I finish this base. Okay, hello, welcome to the base. Honestly, this base is pretty basic, but before I actually show it off to you, let's put on our Omnitrix and let's turn into Heat Blast. After our last fight, we obviously unlocked Heat Blast, but then I didn't even get to show it off to you guys. Now that our Omnitrix has their first alien Heat Blast, there is literally tons more aliens to go. In fact, there is 12 more. Though outside of looking all fiery and cool, as you can see on screen, this guy's got three different abilities he can use fireball flamethrower and flame dash all of which sound really op so let's try them out okay first things first let's use fireball on this tree i'm guessing it's as simple as yeah it shoots a fireball pretty simple next is flamethrower where yep i shoot a flamethrower which i'm guessing sets mobs on fire <laughs> oh yep definitely does and then what about flame dash? Oh, look at this, I'm flying! Okay, that last one is broken. Could I fly to this village? If I look up, I fly. I'm literally flying. Okay, nope, we're good in water. But heat blast is pretty cool. But with a click of our Omnitrix, we can untransform back into Ben 10. And now I'll show you the base. So if you come down the staircase, you're gonna find my chests, my crafting table, and all my furnaces, as well as my bed in this corner, and the real front entrance to the base over here. That's it, that's the base. Anyway, let's unlock another alien. The next alien on our Omnitrix is Wild Mutt. And Wild Mutt's pretty cool, who is a blind alien who is really OP. Play the clip where Gwen tries to hit him with a marshmallow. No eyes? What good is this one? I can't see. Ah! Ah! That ended horribly for her. And now I want Wild Mutt. And to unlock him, all we have to do is set 500 blocks on fire with Heat Blast, tame 10 wolves, kill 25 things with those tamed wolves, and then get two kills as Heat Blast. Okay, so let's set everything on fire in this area by shooting a few fireballs around. Or better yet, we can just fly around with our flame ability and set stuff on fire this way. This is way easier. And there we go, just like that, we have lit this entire field on fire. Now we just get to tame some wolves and stuff. And since the sun's starting to set, let's go down to our cave real quick and gather some bones to tame some wolves. Okay, that should definitely be enough bones to get all the dogs we need. Now let's just go tame some. Okay, we found some wolfie. Now let's just go ahead and feed you a bone. You're now my friend. Feed you a bone. Oh, dude, don't be stubborn. There you go, you're now my friend. 21 bones left and we only need to get two more. But I'm pretty sure this forest doesn't have any. So let's go look for another forest. Oh, I found some doggies. They just murdered a sheep. Good job, buddy. Be my friend. I just need one more. Oh, there's another one over here. And there we go. Just like that, we have 10 out of 10 wolves tamed. And now we just gotta kill 25 mobs with our wolves. So, uh, wolfies, get to work. Get the sheep. Get them. Get them. Now let's do that 25 more times. Oh, Vilgax. Hold up, hold up. Turn into heat blast. Oh, we gotta fight him. Okay, here we go. Let's get him with flamethrower. Oh, he's running. Fireball him. Yes, we got him! We did it as Heat Blast! And I don't see any of Vilgax's cronies around. Like, there's no one else here. It's literally just us. Before they show up, let's just get out of here and head back home. We can finish killing all the mobs we need tomorrow. Okay, let's finish these wolf kills. 
and there we go. The dogs have officially killed 25 mobs, which means now we just need to kill Vilgax and his cronies one more time. But first, let's quickly head home and cook up some of this food. Okay, let's throw the beef in there, the mutton in there. And now that a bunch of our meat is done, let's go find Vilgax's base. It would take me a few days just to find Vilgax's base. And that's because I'm guessing Vilgax knows I need to kill him to start unlocking aliens. So we made this base extremely hard to find. Oh, I see cobblestone and ladders. I think I just found Vilgax's base. Let's open the Omnitrix. Let's turn it into heat blast. Let's use the fly ability to fly up towards that mountain and see. Here we go. Let's just land. Oh my God. Look at him down there. Look at him. We just need one kill as heat blast. Ready? Let's throw some fireballs. Ready? Boom. <laughs> Look how tiny. Ow. Oh! And just like that, we can unlock our second alien called Wild Mutt inside of our Omnitrix. So let's just click Wild Mutt. Oh, wait, I can't. There must be a cooldown of some kind. Let's untransform. And now we gotta wait a full minute before we can turn into Wild Mutt. So we have to hold our ground up here while the aliens attack. Nice, we got him off. We got him off. Oh, we water pocketed. Okay, let's see if we can transform yet. 18 more seconds. Nice, we got him. He's dead. Nice, he fell again. Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, TNT. Okay, come on, please. Yes, and we are Wild Mutt. Oh! Okay, we got to use our Wild Mutt abilities. What do we have? Let's quickly check. Oh, it looks like we have a claw in our inventory called Wild Claws. Oh, it sent him flying. Nice. So I have Slam. When in the air, I can slam down the ground below. Everything's it sent flying and a ton of damage is done. I have Wild Claws, which is a claw in my inventory that's the equivalent of a diamond sword. <laughs> nice. See, we got him. He's done. Oh, yeah. Look how much damage that does. Let's try one of the other abilities here. Here they go. Here they come. They're coming down. Oh my god! Got Boom! We just keep slamming them! Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's do it again. Oh, it almost killed him. Oh, we got him. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage here. Yo, we, we want to get out. We want to get out. Out this way. And now it starts going down the side of this cliff. Nice. We made it to the bottom. We made it to the bottom. We got to get out of here before the timer goes away. Quick across the river. Swim faster. Yes, we made it to the forest. And just like that, we are out of here. So we've officially unlocked Wild Mutt. This amazing alien who has a diamond sword claw can slam on the ground. And then there's Roar, which makes everyone nearby drop their weapon, making this guy really overpowered, but still not strong enough. Because in this video, Vilgax and his cronies get really powerful. So we got to work on the next guy, Diamond Head, who has a lot more hearts. So how do we actually unlock them? All we need to do is use the slam ability that Wild Mutt has on 10 different mobs at once. Then all we have to do is mine 25 diamond ore, discover a war motion ruin, and kill Vilgax and his cronies twice as Wild Mutt. All of which I can do. Anyway, let's start by slamming 10 things together all at once. All we have to do is dig a hole right here in the ground and trap mobs in here just like this zombie, which means we got nine more mobs to go. Oh God, that is a chicken on a baby. That's actually a good one to get. Okay, we got two more zombies coming down to our hole. Come on down, join the hole. Okay, I think we have 10 mobs in this hole. So let's turn into Wild Mutt. And now let's use our slam ability in that hole and we should be good. Three, two, one. Oh, that was awesome. And now since we're already in the mines, let's start looking around for some diamonds since we need to mine 25 for the next quest. Okay, we officially have all the diamonds that we need. Now we should have to find a warm ocean ruin. So warm ocean it is. Okay, there's a warm ocean right below us. So let's just dive in. Okay, I'm at a warm ocean. What I thought was a warm ocean ruin, but this doesn't count. Wait, it says it counted. It just went up. Let's just loot this chest. Let's just break this. Oh, we got a buried treasure map. Nice. Wait, oh, this ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. Swim. Woo! Okay, we almost died there. But we did find the warm ocean ruin. Only, anyway, there's only one more quest to go. We just need two kills as Wild Mutt from the Omnitrix. So let's unmorph for now. Where did you guys come from? Wait, is there another one? Oh, it's a Banner Boy. Hey, Banner Boy. Banner Boy is dead. Now let's go home. Oh, did I just start? A I didn't mean to start a raid. I was going around you. I'm sorry. I don't have time to save your village. Oh, God. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just get out of here before we risk dying. <laughs> And to get kills on Vilgax as quickly as possible, right at the start of day 19, let's fly to his base and let's go pay him a visit. Okay, their base is just up here. Yeah, it's right at the top of this hill. We have 60 seconds till our Omnitrix runs out. But we need kills as Wild Mutt. As long as they didn't like see me. Oh, I think they have traps set up. That's TNT I just set off. They hear me. Oh yeah, one's building up, one's building up. Just stay right here, stay right here. Oh, they're gonna totally hear that. Oh no, and I just untransformed. Oh, this is really not good. Oh, this, oh. <laughs> this is really not good. Ah! That was not the time for the Omnitrix to run out, man. Oh my goodness. Timing literally couldn't have been worse for that. Let's go this way. Ooh, let's TNT below me. Hold on, let's go back this way. Hit him down, nice. I have an idea though. Let's hit this water. Nice, now let's swim up here. There we go, we're in. Now let's open our Omnitrix and let's turn into Wild Mutt. And now we just need to get two kills with Wild Mutt. Here we go, ready? Slam, buddy. Yeah. And you, your weapon, gone. Yeah, he's done. Okay, let's get him with Slam, ready? Boom, baby. That's both kills we need. And now let's quickly unlock 
Diamond Head. Which we'll worry about in a second because Vilgax is here. And he is very dead. Now it's going to be over a minute till we can use Vilgax. So let's just escape for now. Oh, oh. And let's just get out of here because I really don't want to risk dying. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're literally right behind me. We're in the... Oh God, they're on me. That's right, man. Hey. We're in trouble. We're really in trouble here. Up here, eat some food. Okay, let's turn to Diamond Head. And yes, we're Diamond Head. Okay, we're good here. Let's use our Diamond Hand. Oh, that did a ton of damage. Oh, dude, he turned into Diamond Hands. No. Oh my god, that did a ton of damage to him. Look at this, he's running. Nice, we got him. Now let's use our other Diamond ability. He's right behind me. Oh, the Vilgax is on us. We just put a bunch of crystal walls up that now block them from getting to me. Nice. Okay, let's go this way. So if we go in here, we put down this giant Diamond Wall. It's gonna explode after a few seconds. Watch. Here we go. Ready? Oh, it blows up. Boom. Oh, my goodness. See all the explosions? And with that, everyone's officially dead. So let's just keep running and get out of here. Okay, so we unlocked Diamond Head. And Diamond Head is a really cool alien. Because not only do I have a Diamond Hand punch attack that's really strong, but you're going to see I also have a ranged crystal mode where I can shoot crystals out that explode on impact. Diamond Hand has amazing melee. And obviously can create this wall that stops all projectiles from going through it. And with 40 hearts of HP, Diamond Head is OP. But anyway, let's open up the Omnitrix and let's demorph. <laughs> because we still have tons of aliens to work on. So let's get Accelerate next. Now to actually unlock Accelerate, I just need to kill 10 pillagers with Diamond Hand, get the Dolphin Grace effect, kill 15 turtles, and kill four people as Diamond Hand. Let's start by going out and getting some Dolphin's Grace first. Look, there's some Dolphins in front of me. Now I'll just quickly get them to give us Dolphin's Grace. Come here, Dolphins. Yeah, we got it. We have Dolphin's Grace, which means we already finished the first quest for Accelerate. By the way, did you know Accelerate is my favorite alien from Ben 10? I mean, he's super speedy. Look how fast he is in the show. I need to get this. And the next quest on the list is something I actually really don't want to do. I have to kill sea turtles. I found a sea turtle. Okay, I'm sorry I have to do this, friend. It's for a quest. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's a baby. I'm doing it. Okay, two turtles down. Let's go to sleep and hopefully have nightmares for our crimes we just committed. Oh, we got turtles. Oh, we got a lot of turtles. Oh, there's one in the water, too. Oh my, he's killing turtles. turtles. What the? We gotta stop him. Oh God, you can't kill turtles. Oh, whoa, that did a lot. Okay, let's fly up to the top of this tree. Okay, they're coming up, they're coming up. Let's fireball them. Oh, what? Oh, we sniped him. We get him. Oh. Shot. He's done. Yes. Where's Vilgax? He is down here somewhere. There he is. Hello, Vilgax. You don't see this even coming, do you? He doesn't even know I'm behind him. Ah! Got him. Well, that was a failure. They tried to save the turtles and I destroyed them. Well, back to saving the turtles. And there we go. 15 turtles saved. Now let's just head on home and we'll get 10 pillager kills and be one step closer to unlocking Accelerate on our Omnitrix. We obviously still need to kill 10 pillagers with Diamond Head. So let's go find an outpost real quick and take on some pillagers. Okay, let's take these guys out. We've officially killed 10 pillagers with Diamond Head. Anyway, now that we're done with that, let's just head on home. And now we just have to take on Vilgax and his four cronies. Okay, so we just have to head back to Vilgax's base now. And this is really the reason I need to get Accelerate unlocked. Because Vilgax's base is really far and Accelerate is really fast. Okay, here we go. Let's fly to Vilgax's base real quick and get four kills with Diamond Head. Okay, yep, here's the base. We're here. Okay, now they don't know I'm here. So let's quickly demorph. And now let's just wait up here for a little while till the Omnitrix unlocks again and we can pick Diamond Head. Hello. Hello. Ah! They found me already. I got him, I got him. There we go, we got him. Oh, there's two! Okay, this way, quick, quick, quick. Go across the wall. Now he's gonna try and come across the wall. Boom! And him down. Okay, he died. Hit him off. Oh, I'm going down. Oh, I'm low! I have an idea, I have an idea. Ready? Down here, start swimming up. Okay, quick, this way, this way. I bet you our thing's cool down. Ready? Diamond Head, yes! We became Diamond Head in time. Nice. Okay, now he's gonna get the kills. Let's quickly go out here. We killed one. Nice. Out here. Nice, he's done. So we got him midair. Nice, that's three. Nice, we got him. We can officially unlock Accelerate. Okay, hold on, hold on. Nice, we got him. He's dead. Quickly open up the Omnitrix. Go to Accelerate. We can now unlock him. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Nice, we got him. Watch out. Okay, quick this way. Unmorph. Okay, go over this way across the wall. I can hit him down. I can hit him down. Nice, he's dead. Hey. And there we go. We are Accelerate. Meaning now we are super fast. Fighting them just got way easier. And if I run into them, you're going to see I send them flying like this. I can just run into them and boom, he's flying. He's dead. Nice. Run into this guy. There you go. I hit the TNT away. That's so funny. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Accelerate. And let's get out of here. Oh, they're in the water with me. 
Okay, you know what? The water almost killed me, but we can run on water. Let's just run on water with that heart and get out of here. I'm so flipping fast. Okay, we are officially accelerate. Now, obviously, he's super fast. And when I run into things, they go flying. And of course, I can now walk on lava and water. But that's not all this cool alien can do. You're gonna notice that I have haste. So I am breaking blocks extremely quickly. And my final ability is called too fast, which if I use it, you're gonna see this cow comes to a stop. And this ability is supposed to represent me going so fast that everything around me stops moving. Meaning you are no longer moving because I'm too quick for you. Whackity, whackity, dead. Dude, look, everything's frozen. That's frozen. These chickens are frozen. Why am I stuck? Help. Oh my God, they're stuck across the world. They can't move while I'm doing this. Oh my God, I can't move. <laughs> but you get the idea. Accelerate is awesome. And now that we have them unlocked, there's only nine aliens left to go in the Omnitrix. With our next alien being Gray Matter. You remember the tiny little hacker guy from the show? Yeah, we also added him into our mod. Now, just like in the show, Gray Matter is not a combat alien. And if you look at his three powers, his only actual combat one is a cobblestone cannon. His other two abilities are fast learner, which gets me XP, and intelligent negotiator, which gets villagers at half price. And he can enchant any item. Having an alien that could enchant anything is broken. So let's unlock him. All we need to do is kill a bunch of rabbits while on hyperspeed, trade with a max level villager, get hero of the village, and kill Vilgax and his cronies five times. Let's start with the rabbits because it sounds fun chasing them down with hyperspeed. I found a rabbit. Now you can't move. You're dead. <laughs> And there we go. 15 out of 15 rabbits are now dead. And it's nighttime. So let's go home. What is that? Is that Vilgax? <gasps> Vilgax is at my base. Oh, God. I see him coming. Nuke it. Nuke it. it. Oh, I hear my base. No, the others are in my base. The cronies are in my base. Nice. We hit him down. Let's get him. He's in the water right where I want him. We got one dead. I only have 10 seconds left. I gotta be quick about this. Oh, I hit his TNT back at him. Nice. Oh, my God. He's so fast. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, God. Come on, kill him. Dude, get me out of here. Get me out of here. No. Nice, we got him. Oh, there's only the one the UFO left. There he is. Can I shoot it out? Oh, my ship. Oh, my goodness. You're going to get it now, Ben 10. I can. It's like a boat. Yes. Are okay, you trying to get away? That'll get me away. We just got to delay till the Omnitrix is back and active. Quickly, grab the Omnitrix. Let's turn to accelerate again. We can get him. Here we go. We're accelerate. Extreme speed. And now you can't move, Vilgax. I'm stuck. Help. I can go around him a million times, launch him if I want to. And now he's floating away. What did I just do? Ah! <laughs> Oh, we fell. Nice, we got him, we got him. Yes! And Bill Gax is down! But so is our base. So let's go find a new place to build a fresh base where hopefully this Ben 10 base lasts a little bit longer. After Bill Gax destroyed my base and all my stuff, I had to relocate somewhere more hidden. If I was gonna survive this challenge and unlock all my aliens in peace, I'd also need to put some distance between me and Bill Gax. So it took me until day 35 to find the perfect spot and set up shop. Okay, so welcome to the brand new Ben 10 base. So let me show you the base. You simply come into this cave and step on these pressure plates on the ground and you're in. And in Inside, you got an enchanter to the left, bed and chest area, and then you got what I call the Super Smelter 9000. It's basically an auto smelter, and I generate infinite lava over here, meaning we got infinite fuel for our furnaces. Anyway, now that the base is done, let's go ahead and finish unlocking gray matter. All we have to do is trade with a max level villager, get hero of a village, and then just kill some players as accelerate. So to trade with a max level villager, all we need to do is grab some glass panes and sugar cane. So let's transform into accelerate, and let's make our way over to the desert real quick, and now just grab a bunch of sugar cane. Okay, there we go. We got all the sugar cane. Now we just need a bunch of sand. Okay, that's all the sand we need. So let's start by turning our sugar cane into paper. And then let's throw our sand inside of our auto smelter. So let's skip to when all this boring smelting stuff is done. Okay, we've got all the paper and glass that we need. Now let's sleep. And tomorrow we go to a village. Okay, cool. We're at the village. Now let's just go find some villagers to trade with. Want a job? Yeah, you do. Now let's trade this villager all of our paper for his emeralds. And that's going to upgrade him. There you see his little emblem change. Okay, we just need a little bit more stuff to level this dude up. So let's just grab a bunch more sugar cane to trade with this guy. And now let's go up to our dude and let's trade him. Oh, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. How much do you need, my man? Okay, I got your cost down to nine emeralds. So I could buy three of these if I just had three compasses. Hold on, we just need three compasses. Our base is literally just this way. We might make it in time. Let's see. Okay, let's just go in here. Grab our iron, grab our redstone. Now let's head back over to the village. No, we, oh, we were so close to making it in time. And now we're going to quickly craft four compasses. There's no time to sleep, cartographer. I need to trade with you. Okay, that leveled him up for sure. Is that a max? Is he max level? Oh, I can buy a light gray banner. Oh, but he's still not max level, but we can keep buying these. Hold on. Now I'm out of emeralds. I have to go home to go get more. I have like 10 left at home, I think. Back into gray matter and back home we go. Okay, grab the emeralds. Back we go for a second time. Okay, wake up, ugly. I got to trade with you for more of these banners. 
Okay, I leveled you up again. Are you an expert? Don't go back to sleep. He's leveled up, but dude, come on. Now I just got to trade with him one more time, and I think we're good, right? And we just want to go ahead and get this white banner pattern. And finally, we did it. Okay, now that we're done annoyingly trading with a villager, let's just get here of the village. I technically could have just gotten a second ago, but I kind of left. <sighs> So I lost Bad Omen. So let's head back to the Pillager Tower and go kill a Bannerman so we can get Bad Omen. Okay, we're at the Pillager Tower. Oh no, there's a Bannerman. And there we go. Just like that, we have Bad Omen. So now let's just quickly head to a village. Now let's just quickly fly into this village right here and start a raid. Now it's time to become a hero. Okay, that's the first wave. Okay, the Raiders are back up the hill again. But now we're Heat Blast. So let's go take them out. Okay, we took out the Ravager. Now let's go take out the rest of the Pillagers. There they are. Let's see if we can snipe them from this distance. Oh, yeah. There we go. And the raid is complete. And we are the hero of the village. Okay, we're back at the base. To unlock gray matter is get three more kills with Accelerate. So let's just head to Vilgax's base now and get a sneak attack on them in the middle of the night. But of course, they're not here. I'm guessing they left this base after our last battle. So scratch the plan of a sneak attack. Instead, we just have to go looking for their brand new base. So let's get going. Now we just need to get five kills as Accelerate to unlock gray matter. However, since we destroyed Vilgax's last base, he won't be there anymore. Meaning we've got to find his new hideout if we want to get gray matter. Hold on. I see cobblestone landing. Yeah, I knew I saw a cobblestone. We just found their base. It's right below us. And now we need to get kills as accelerate, which means I'm going to untransform. There's the transformation. Okay, cool. Can we turn to accelerate? We can. Are they inside? Oh, I found one. I found one. Okay, we got two of them and let's freeze them. Now they're all frozen. You're frozen. Oh, he's up there now though. Let's go up here. We can get Vilgax. Vilgax is down. Nice. We got another one. Oh, God, no. And there we go. We have all the kills that we need. Oh, God, they're spawning right there. Oh, God. Oh, our health is getting low. Let's climb this real quick. Now that we have it done, let's go in. Let's quickly unlock gray matter. And now let's escape using accelerate because gray matter isn't good for combat anyway. Oh, God. Oh, they should be to that TNT. We're just getting out of here. We're just going to leave. And now that we've defeated Vilgax and his cronies, we can turn into gray matter. Who only has five hearts of HP. I'm weak as heck, but that's because he's not a combat alien. You see, I can actually jump extremely high with gray matter. Not only that, but he can fit in super small holes. He also gets this cobblestone cannon where the cobblestone explodes on impact. And while that may sound cool, it's definitely not his coolest ability. Gray Matter has access to this fast learner ability where I can literally enchant any of my items. In fact, I already did. You're gonna notice I have a diamond sword in my inventory with sharpness 10. But let me quickly show you how it works. Let's open up our fast learner menu and let's type in protection. And you're gonna notice with the chest plate in the spot and the word protection, we can now give this chest plate protection. And with the click of a few buttons, I can give myself protection protection five or all the way up to protection 10 if i have 20 levels but we'll just stick with protection four for now and we can now put it on and we can put these boots on and now i need 12 more diamonds to get full diamond armor so let's head down to the mines as diamond head and let's go get some diamonds okay we found some diamonds so now let's turn into diamond head and the reason we want to be diamond head is because if we break a diamond ore with his diamond hands you're gonna see we get two diamonds instead of one so he doubles all diamonds that we mine well, there we go. That's all the diamonds we need. Not just go back up and finish this armor. So let's quickly make diamond leggings and a diamond helmet. And now let's get these two pieces enchanted. And now we have fully enchanted diamond armor, a sharpness 10 sword, and only a few more aliens left to unlock. We're doing really good as Ben 10. Now that our armor's enchanted, you're gonna notice, well, we're out of XP. And luckily, that's where the last part of Grey Matter's abilities come in. Let's grab our 50 lapis from this chest. Now that we don't need to use lapis anymore, we might as well turn it into XP using our final ability, where I simply click a button. And now you're gonna see my lapis is slowly turning into XP jars in my inventory. And now we can have a party. Woo! Yeah! And just like that, we're back to level 16. Anyway, enough using gray matter. It's time to unlock another alien. So starting tomorrow, we're gonna go for everyone's favorite alien, Forearms. This is literally the most popular alien from Ben 10. So let me know in the comment section below who your favorite alien from Ben 10 is. Anyway, Forearms. Yeah, you know, the big brute guy. Yeah, him. He's really OP. We just need to trade 30 emeralds with villagers, drink a strength two potion, which we can get from the nether, kill five iron golems, and shoot players a hundred times with Grey Matter's cobblestone cannon. But for now, we sleep. And tomorrow, we forearm. Okay, so we need to go to the nether to unlock forearms. So let's start by doing that, since I don't even think I've been to a nether fortress yet. Now, because the nether is going to be super hard to navigate, let's transform into Accelerate. Oh, we found another fortress. Let's go. Now let's go look around for some nether warts. And here we are, nether warts. Now we just need some blaze rods. Okay, four blaze rods should be all we need. Now let's just grab some glowstone dust to make it into a strength two potion. Here we go, this'll do. And now we can make a strength two potion. So let's go ahead and let's start by making a brewing stand and making some glass bottles and fill them up with water. And now let's add those glass bottles to our brewing stand. Fuel the brewing stand. And then we're just gonna simply add a nether wart to turn these into awkward potions. 
Now we simply add a blaze powder. And now we simply add a glowstone dust. And these strength one potions will become strength two potions. And now we have three strength two potions, which if we drink one, the quest is completed. And it's night outside. So let's go to bed and we'll work on unlocking forearms tomorrow. Okay, I've got one singular emerald, but I need to trade 30 with some villagers. So let's quickly turn into diamond head and let's go mine some emeralds over in that mountain over there. Okay, we finally got all the emeralds we need. Now let's just go quickly trade them with some villagers. He'll give me a leather tunic for seven. You got yourself a deal. Okay, I just need to trade two more emeralds. If I turn into gray matter, everything costs half as much. Meaning we could already be done with this. There we go. Now you can see it costs two again. So we'll trade him for this banner. And now we've traded 30 emeralds with villagers. So let's go on home. Okay, now that we've traded 30 emeralds with villagers, we just gotta kill five iron golem. Which means we need 140 iron and a bunch of pumpkins. So let's start by getting the pumpkins because they're really not that hard to find. I see pumpkins. There we go. Pumpkins, Gibby. Okay, 22 pumpkins will definitely do. Now let's go to the mine and turn into diamond head so we can quickly get a bunch of iron. Okay, now let's just start mining all the iron down here real quick. Okay, and just like that, we officially have all of the iron that we need. Now let's throw our raw iron inside of our blast furnace and then we can take on all the iron golem. And now let's turn all that iron into iron block. Now if we kill this iron golem, you're gonna see that the quest went up by one. So now let's kill four more. And there we go, we have five out of five iron golems killed. And now we just have to shoot Vilgax with the cobblestone cannon a hundred times. And we'll have everyone's favorite hole, forearm. So let's go to Vilgax's base, but this time on foot. So that way we can go in as stealthily as possible. Okay, their base is literally just through this jungle right here. And now let's turn into gray matter and get nice and small. Let's go in. Ooh! Dude! Oh! Drop your lava, everybody oh, drop your lava! What? Oh God! Oh, that's lava, that's lava. Oh yeah, they're pouring, we gotta go. Well, apparently they have a pitfall at their entrance. Nice, we got him. We only have five HP though. We're gonna be super careful here. Climb out this way. Hey, Bill Gax, I'm below you. You can't see me because I'm tiny though. Oh, they're on me. Okay, one's blocked out, one's blocked out. Oh my God, I can't even hit him. He's so tiny. Nice, we killed him. Let's go back out. Find this vine so we can eat at the same time. Oh, just sit here for a sec. And now we gotta start shooting him with the cobble cannon. Ready? Okay, let's go this way. Quick, quick, quick. Up this way. And then jump in this tree. Nice, they can't beat me up here. Okay, let's just start blasting him with cobblestone cannon. Jump up here. Nice, we blew Bill Gax. Oh, we sent him flying. Nice, we got him. He just died. He just died. I don't even think he saw me. I'm so small. He didn't even see me. It's too late for you. You didn't see me. I'm dead. Okay, he's dead. No, please, no. Okay, we still got a few stacks of cobblestone left. Nice, we got Vilgax. Oh. Okay, cool. We just took them out. We did a ton of damage there. Okay, let's untransform. We need to get back to our boat. Let's quickly cut through this forest now. Oh, he's on me. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Let him on me. Let's open the Omnitrix and let's unlock forearms, which should reset the Omnitrix timer. So now I can turn into forearms. Oh, you are so done. Oh, I sent him flying. Look at that. You guys want to go? Bring it on, buddy. And send him flying. Now let's grab you and chuck you. Ah! I'm dead. He's done. Oh, we got him. Ready? He's a beefcake. Oh, oh, he picked me up. He picked me up. <laughs> Oh. Exploded! <laughs> you wanna go? Let's do it! Into the wall! Let's go, let's go! Nice, turn it around and go! We're T-posing, but we got the boat and we are out of here as forearms! So we've officially unlocked forearms! Basically, my four fists I can use in a dual punching sort of way. And so if I right click something with these hands, I send them flying in the sky. And if I left click them, I just do a ton of damage. And just to make things even more cool, I've got this amazing ability where I can grab mobs and throw them and they explode. And my final ability is called Shockwave, where I slam the ground and send everything around me flying back, and I do an absolute bolo to damage. Forearms is definitely my new favorite that we've unlocked, because throwing things and watching them explode is really cool. And now that we have them unlocked, there's only seven more aliens to go. We've got Stinkfly, Rip Jaws, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, Cannon Bolt, Wild Vine, and of course, Alien X. But next on our list is Stinkfly, which means we're gonna be able to fly soon. So let's get this unlocked quickly by first getting poisoned by a witch. Let's quickly head over to the Pillager Tower and get Bad Omen. Okay. Okay, we're at the pillager tower now let's just go in oh here's a bannerman perfect we just, oh there's two and there we go just like that we have bad omen now let's just go quickly start a raid in a village so that way some witches spawn okay let's run into this village and now the raid's gonna start and now let's just get poisoned by a witch oh that is a lot of them oh and there's a witch and there we go we're poisoned by a witch and now i don't care about the rest of this raid so let's just get out of here Okay, next we just gotta kill 10 polar bears and we'll be one step closer to getting stink fly. So let's turn to accelerate once again and let's head over to an ice biome to quickly kill some polar bears. Okay, cool, we made it to the ice biome. Now let's just run around and find a bunch of polar bears and start killing them. Polar bear spotted. Okay, let's take them out, ready? Now let's just kill nine more. 
there we go. Just like that, we've killed 10 polar bears. I have to find a mushroom biome. And do you know how rare those things are? They're like extraordinarily rare. So let's just start looking for one now because looking for this thing is gonna take a bit. And it did take a bit, quite a bit. I ran around everywhere as Accelerate trying to find a mushroom island and I couldn't find one anywhere. Well, that's not completely true. I did find one, but it looks like this, which is why I ended up having to use a magical website on Google that tells me where I can find a mushroom island. So after inputting the server information, I was able to figure out exactly where I needed to go. Oh, I see a mushroom island. Finally, we found one. Okay, now we just gotta turn into forearms. So let's simply pick up a mushroom cow and throw them. And now let's do that 19 more times. And there we go, all the mushrooms are officially blown up and we can head on home. Okay, now we just need to go get six kills on Vilgax as forearms. So let's turn into Heat Blast and let's go pay Vilgax a visit. Okay, Vilgax's base is literally right below us. Boom, we're forearms. Let's go, we're going in quick. Hello, I need to kill you real quick. That's rude. Die, die, die. Nice, we killed Vilgax, that's three. That's four. That's five. No! That's six. Hey, let's get outside real quick. Oh! We're being obliterated. Okay, I just untransformed. We're gonna use stink fly to get out of here, but we just have to survive one minute. Let's get up here. Okay, we turn it. Oh! We just unlocked stink fly. Now let's turn into him, and then we can officially fly away as stink fly. Oh, he's flying. He what the? Now, I'll show you the rest of his abilities later. For now, let's just buzz off and get out of here. Okay, we officially have Stinkfly unlocked. And I'm not gonna lie, he's really cool looking. But if we look at the Omnitrix, he actually has a bunch of abilities. Like a Stink Bomb, an Acid Spit, and finally, my Grapple Tongue. Now, let me show you what these abilities do. If I look at this chicken below me and I hit this button, you're gonna see I hit him with a giant Poison Ball, and now he's dead. And then my second ability drops a Poison Bomb on anything below me. And then finally, my favorite ability. We go above an unsuspected mob like this if we use the ability we pick them up with our tongue and drop them so yeah sting fly is kind of incredible but now let's unlock rip jaws you know the guy with big jaws from the show anyway to unlock rip jaws we just have to poison 30 piglins using sting fly kill 20 drowned and kill three elder guardians and then of course get a bunch of kills on vilgax as sting fly so let's start by heading to the nether and poisoning a bunch of piglins let's track a bunch of these piglins here now chuck a grenade over there Oh, we got him dead on. And we poisoned five now. There must be a bunch down here, I'm guessing. Oh, we've got 15. That went up by eight. Let's just keep dropping the poison right here. And boom, there's 30 piglins poisoned with my bombs. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's go kill 20 drowned in the overworld. Okay, we found a drown. Now let's just kill him. And now let's kill 20 more. Okay, we officially have killed all the drowns we need to kill. But there's one other major problem. You're gonna notice that it also says I've killed three Elder Guardians. I haven't. And because it's only fair, I'm gonna delete the quest. And boom, just like that, it's reset. So now let's go kill three Elder Guardians. Okay, the water monument should just be up here. Now let's go in and find some Elder Guardians. Yes, we killed one Elder Guardian. I found the Elder Guardian. Yes. Yes, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, there's no more Elder Guardians that are at this monument, so we're gonna have to find another one. Okay, so we're back at the village with our cartographer friend, and if we trade with him, you're gonna see he'll give us an Ocean Explorer map for only seven emeralds and a compass. So let's quickly make our way back to the base. Let's grab our emeralds, quickly make a compass. Now let's trade with our villager friend, and let's grab an Ocean Explorer map. And now we see if we head straight north, we're gonna reach an underwater monument. Yes, a monument, we found one. Nice, we're in, I see an elder, I see an elder. There we go. Yes, we killed the last Elder Guardian we need dead. And there we go. Just like that, we killed the last Elder Guardian we need. And we can now finally stop hunting these guys and simply go back to hunting Vilgax. Okay, Vilgax base should be right down here in this river. Yep, here it is. I found the base. Oh, and they haven't fixed it at all. Oh, yeah, it's abandoned. This base is gone. Okay, so it looks like Vilgax actually moved out of this base. So we're gonna have to go look for his new base somewhere else. So it appears Vilgax relocated after my last attack. And that puts me back a few days. Since now, I have to go looking for his new base. Well, luckily, using the insane scouting power hours of Accelerate and Stinkfly, I found his new base in no time at all. Oh, I think I found their base, and they're not even here. Let's steal some of their stuff, like some of these rocks. I'll gladly take 40 diamonds and a bunch of lapis. Now that we stole from them, let's just wait around base for a while till they return home. Okay, I've been here all day. They still haven't shown up, so I think this must be some sort of backup base of theirs or something. Like, where could they be? Guys, where is he? Hey. The big boss, shouldn't you know where he is? <laughs> no, I don't have, like, a, a Ryan radar. Whatever, it's not that big a deal. Let's just turn into Stinkfly. Fly, and let's fly on home and tomorrow we'll continue looking for their main base now I'll just go to sleep and tomorrow we can head to Oh, we're not going in there. There's TT. I think I found them. No, my uncle smelter. That's it. I'm spamming them with these I don't care what it takes. I'm killing them with these. Okay. We got one dead now. They're poisoned. Oh, what's that? The poison can't save you now, can it? Okay. He's dead. 
Nice, he's dead. Okay, there we go. Our base is um, destroyed. So let's go build a new one somewhere else. And hopefully this time our base won't get destroyed so easy. Now that my super awesome second base was destroyed, I decided to get a little more tricky with my third base. I decided to hide it in plain sight and actually build my base at spawn under the RV. I've never done anything like this before. So fingers crossed that this base goes right under their noses. Okay, welcome to the brand new Ben 10 base. Yes, behind me is the RV from spawn. And yes, my new base is inside of that RV. I figured since this is Ben 10, it makes sense that I would live in the RV. So if we go inside, you're gonna notice now there's this little water area. Then we simply walk in and here you go. We have a brand new auto smelting furnace system. We got our basic storage area, but that's not what makes this base cool. This base actually has asbestos in it. No, not the stuff that poisons you. This little guy, asbestos. Oh. Anyway, outside of asbestos, we do have an enchanting table and another portal up top. And we also have an area where our bigger aliens can simply fly up this hole and then they exit out into the campsite and they can also fly over here and hit this button and enter this way as well. Anyway, we still gotta kill Vilgax four times if we wanna unlock Rip Jaws. So while uh, we still have some flight left, let's exit out this hole and let's quickly take on Vilgax and his cronies. Okay, their base is literally up here. It should be that cave. I thought this was a side base, but this has gotta be their main base, right? <gasps> yes, it is. Uh, oh my God, there's a spider. Oh, it's what Benson. What is that? It's Benson. You're not getting away, buddy. You're not getting away, buddy. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Nice, we got four. Nice, that's five. Wait, Vilgax is in his ship. Let's just kill him real quick. Nice, we got him. He's dead. Our timer's about to run out. Quick, over here, over here. Oh, God. Now we just gotta survive 60 seconds as regular Ben. Oh, yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in. Oh, no. This could be bad. Oh, God. They're shooting what looks like meteors at me from that. Oh, my goodness. Let's get in our boat in the water. Now let's just avoid them over here. Now let's hop out and let's turn into stink fly. There we go. Now we just do one more kill. Nice, we tongued him. We tongued him. He took the fall damage. Whack him. He's dead. That's all the kills we need. And now we can go ahead and get out of here. Okay, we're home and we can finally turn into Ripjaw. I have a mermaid tail on my back on my body, that ugly angler fish thing on my head. But I also have 25 hearts of HP, water breathing, dolphins, grace, jump boost, speed, strength. In fact, if we look at him swimming underwater, you're gonna see he swims extremely quickly. And what's cool is when fighting his rip jaws underwater, he's got some incredible powers, including this one here where he dashes forward and anything I hit while dashing explodes. On top of that, I have another ability where I can grab mobs in my jaws and slowly drown them underwater. I can now drown Vilgax, which honestly isn't a bad idea. But before we do that, we still got a bunch of aliens we got to unlock with the next one being upgrade literally one of my favorites from ben 10 i mean look how cool he looks he's just like this hacker blobby thing from the show and to get him really isn't too bad we just have to kill 30 fish as rip jaws activate 18 tnt ride a strider for 60 seconds and then simply take out vilgax eight times so let's start by heading over to a river and now let's take out some fish Okay, there we go. We've officially killed 30 fish. Now let's unmorph out of Rip Jaws and turn into Stink Fly so we can fly around looking for desert temples. Okay, we found a desert pyramid. Now let's just break our way in the top. Now let's quickly loot the four chests. Ooh, we got a bunch of gunpowder. Ooh, a ton of gunpowder in here. That's definitely gonna come in handy. And now let's just grab the TNT beneath the floor. And now we only need nine more TNT. Or that would be the case. However, we got a bunch of gunpowder. Meaning if we simply go to a cave and just kill some creepers, we're gonna have 18 TNT that we can detonate. Okay, there we go. We got 16 gunpowder, which if we combine that with the rest of our sand, we now have 18 TNT. Okay, now let's just simply quickly set off our 18 TNT. And there we go, all the TNT's blown up. Now we just gotta ride a Strider for 60 seconds and kill Vilgax eight times as Rip Jaws. Well, let's go to sleep, and tomorrow we'll actually worry about riding a Strider. Before we actually go to the Nether, we need a saddle. So it's time to turn into Stink Fly and quickly fly around and look for a saddle. Okay, perfect. The old Desert Temple I was at had a saddle. Okay, so now we just have to head to the Nether and ride a Strider with a fungus on a stick, and then we'll be done with this quest. Okay, there we go, we're back home, and now let's enter the Nether. Now let's go find a Warp Fungus, which, speaking of, there's literally one right up here at this Bastion. Okay, here's a Warp Fungus right here. Let's grab that. And now if we combine a fishing rod and a warp fungus in our inventory, you're gonna see that we get a warp fungus on a stick. Hold on a sec. I was about to go hop on a strider, but I see this nether portal over here and it's caught my attention. Is this Vilgax's nether portal? Let's go in real quick and find out. Definitely. Oh, it's their base. Yes, there's one right here. Oh, it's him, it's him. Let's stink bomb him. He's poisoned now. Oh, he didn't see that coming. Yes, we got him. He's dead. Now they're destroying their own things. Look, boom. And now he's dead. Oh, nice. We blew him up. We got him. Wait, but none of these kills count because I'm not Rip Jaws. Come on, Rip Jaws. 10 seconds. And Vilgax is right here. Oh, they're both up here. We need to go. We need to go. Ready? And, and yes. Oh, we got it. Now let's just go down here and let's just get kills as Rip Jaws. Here we go. We're biting him. Nice. He's dead. We got one now with Rip Jaws. The bite's going to be our best way to do that. Nice. We got him. He's dead. Oh, we got him too. That's three. Let's get him. We can't let him get away. Nice. He's dead. He can't do anything. Yes. We got him. We got him trapped. Nice. Go, 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 go. Come on. 
No! They took out the nether portal. I need to make a flint and steel. Nice, there's a flint in this chest. Let's grab this flint. Vilgax just left. I think he crashed. Perfect timing. Flint, take an iron ingot, flint and steel. Now just light up the portal. There we go. There we go, finally. Oh, okay, we made it. We're back through the portal. Well, since we're back in the nether, we might as well ride the strider we were gonna do before. Let's place a saddle on one of these striders, and then we can start riding him with the stick, and we just gotta do this for 60 seconds. And there we go, we're officially done riding a strider. So now let's simply go to our nether portal, which is right here, and let's finally head on home. Okay, so we can officially unlock our next alien on the Omnitrix, which is Upgrade, who has some really incredible abilities. You're gonna notice I have 20 hearts of HP and speed too, and that's really it. But that's because Upgrade is really overpowered. First, I get this energy blaster that shoots out a green ball of energy that explodes on impact. I also get this ability where I shoot out a line of hearts and I can activate redstone through walls. Then we have our teleporter disc, which works as an ender pearl, except I take no fall damage. And finally is a laser that allows me to befriend any mob I come in contact with. So you'll see if I use my laser on this pig right here that we befriend this pig. And now if I punch one of these cows, my pig friend is now gonna attack the cow. Imagine using this ability on something like a warden. Upgrade also has one other ability that is actually probably my favorite. If I use my laser on this redstone underground, you're gonna see I activate the redstone and this door still opens. Now that you get exactly how upgrade works, we get to have a lot of fun because we can build a massive hidden wall that can only be opened with upgrade. And then these chests can simply be bait chests while all our real items are safely stored behind this wall. So uh, let's get to work. Okay, and the secret room is done. All I have to do is aim right through the ground right here and use our ability. And you're gonna see my vault opens up. So let's just get close again this time and try again. And as you can see, I'm now inside my secret vault. And the items down in my main chests are now just basic survival stuff I can grab from. And so with that, I'd say we're done with upgrade for now. And it's time to work on our next alien in our Omnitrix, Ghost Freak. Now, Ghost Freak is amazing from the show, but unlocking Ghost Freak is not going to be easy. We have to befriend a warden, kill 15 LA, use a tone of undying against Vilgax, and then I have to kill Vilgax and his friends three times with a mob that I befriend with upgrade. This is super difficult, but it does give me a cool idea. What if I befriend a bunch of wardens and bring them all to Vilgax? Let's definitely do that by going and finding an ancient city. There we go, we found an ancient city. Now all we have to do is summon and befriend a warden. So now let's just go summon a warden by activating shriekers like this one right here. There we go, that should definitely summon a warden. Yep, here he comes. Okay, be very quiet. Okay, it should be my friend. <gasps> yes, it is. Okay, so we captured a warden and got it on our team. Now we just need to bring this guy over to Vilgax and have him kill him three times. But one warden isn't enough. We need like, I don't know. What about 10 wardens? Now I have an army of wardens at my disposal that'll fight for me. And you know Vilgax isn't gonna be able to take these guys down. Okay, we're almost to the base. The base is literally just about, I just saw one of them inside that cave. Yep, there he is. Come on, wardens. Everyone to the base. What the? Guys, we gotta evacuate. Oh, get this alien. Oh, he's so dead. Look, they're all gonna go for him now. Oh! Let's punch him now. Watch. Oh, what are you gonna do? There's one throwing TNT on it. Not if I can help it. Take out his cart. And now they're going for him. <laughs> Oh, you're surrounded. You're surrounded. <laughs> and just like that, their base is toast. And we got another quest complete. Okay, it's day 83. And I got rid of all my wardens. They're literally so loud and annoying that I didn't want them anymore. There's only two more quests we have to do till we unlock Ghost Freak. And to unlock them, I need to use a totem of undying while I'm in a fight with Vilgax. And I used to have a Woodland Mansion map. But since my base kind of went... They're gone. So we need to get some new ones real quick. So let's head down to the base. Now let's grab our emeralds from the hidden vault. Let's head back to our max level villager from earlier. Okay, let's buy the woodland mansion map off this guy for a compass and some emeralds. And now we can see where a woodland mansion is, which is super far to our northwest. And since northwest is in that direction, let's turn into Stinkfly and get going to that woodland mansion. Okay, the map's starting to load. We're getting close to this thing. Yes, I see the mansion. Okay, let's turn into Accelerate. Because with Accelerate, we can go super fast and freeze mobs that become a problem. So let's simply break in through the door. And now let's find mobs to kill here. Here we go. Here's one right here. And just like that, we have three totems of undying, which is all we need. So now let's just go kill some Alay. Ow. Okay, let's go find the prisons full of Alay. Now let's go in here and let's kill the Alay. And there we go. We've officially killed 15 LA. Now all we have to do is survive an attack from Vilgax while one of these totems is in our shield slot. So let's exit this prison. Just like that, we are headed home. Okay, it's day 85 and here's the game plan. We're gonna run into Vilgax's base with none of our armor on. And that way Vilgax can kill us super easy and activate our totem of undying. And then so long as this totem pops, we throw back on our armor and then transform back into forearms to save the day. Now let's do it by first becoming Stinkfly and flying our way to Vilgax's base. Okay, we're back at Vilgax's base, but it still looks destroyed. Yeah, they haven't replaced any of their beds or anything. They haven't really been moving far from spawn this video. So let's just look around spawn and see if we can find them somewhere nearby. Oh, what is that? I see something glowing down here. Oh my God, it's it. I literally see them right there. Hey, Vilgax. 
You're in the water now. Oh, yeah, you're coming with me. Let's take off our armor because I need them to pop this totem. So let's pretend we're fighting him aggressively. Let him get me low. Ready? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, my God. That totem popped already. Oh, he, he totem. We popped a totem. We popped a totem. Oh, my God. He took damage so fast. Away. Oh, that was so fast. Put the armor back on. Put the armor back on. Oh, my goodness. Now let's go ahead and unmorph and let's unlock Ghost Freak. Oh, they're on me. They're on me. They're on me. Oh, we're off turn to Ghost Freak. Quick, quick, quick. Transform. Okay, we're a Ghost Freak. We're Ghost Freak. Let's see what he does. Let's try his abilities. Oh, I teleported. And now they have heartbeats and can't see. How high can I teleport with this? Can I just teleport like in that tree? Oh, I can. Now I'm up here. And look, they're like, where'd he go? And I'm just chilling up here. They don't even realize it. Wow, they're blind for a while. Well, will they look for me? Let's read through the Omnitrix. I have ghostly form and I'm able to fly like I'm in creative. I also get the ability to teleport through solid blocks. I also can become invisible for 10 seconds. And while invisible, I do only crits. And while I'm looking at a player, they freeze and they can't move. So watch this. If I look down at, I don't know, this guy, he now can't move. See, he's stuck. So let's put another totem on and let's have some fun with this fight. Okay, since we can fly, let's see what we can do here. And he can't move. Oh my goodness, this is so broken. Nice, we killed him. Let's get this one in the sky up here. He doesn't know where I am. I'm above his head. He has no idea. Okay, Ghostface is really fun. And with him officially unlocked, we can go ahead and get out of here. Okay, with Ghostface unlocked, we only have three more aliens in our Omnitrix to go. And next on the list is Cannon Bolt, one of my favorite from the show. I mean, look, he rolls around and just kind of plows through things. And luckily, unlocking Cannon Bolt really isn't too hard. We just need to be withered for 30 seconds, kill 50 mobs with crits, get the caves and cliffs upgrade, and then simply get nine kills as Ghost Freak. But let's start with the easiest part, which is killing 50 mobs with crits. Let's go. And there we go. Just like that, we've killed 50 mobs with critical hits. And now we just have to get the wither effect and caves and cliffs. And I bet you I can do both those things today. So let's try. First things first, let's turn into Diamond Head. And now let's dig a massive hole in the middle of this field all the way down to bedrock. Okay, the hole's done. Now let's turn into Stink Fly. And now let's fly up to world height. I'm literally 500 blocks in the air. So now we're falling. And we're gonna fall all the way into that hole. We did it. Yes! Now let's just fly on home. Tomorrow we'll get the wither effect and kills we need. Okay, it's day 87. Now let's go find some wither skeletons to wither us a bunch of times. Okay, here's a wither skeleton. Come here, buddy. Now give me wither. Okay, we got wither for what? 12 seconds there. Now let's go get attacked again. Hit me. Thank you. And now 30 seconds withered. So let's quickly fly back to our portal. And now let's go take on Vilgax. Okay, their base should be in this little ravine up here. My goal this time is to destroy their base to slow them down as much as possible because it's already day 88 and I don't have all the aliens unlocked. Anyway, since we need kills as Ghost Freak, let's quickly untransform. And now let's stand here for a minute and hope that I'm not spotted. It's been a minute. Okay, we're good. We're Ghost Freak. Right as one of them found us too. We just need to get nine kills now as Ghost Freak. Let's get this guy ready. He's dead. Yes. Oh, it's a lot of TNT. Let's kill him while he's in his thing. Nice, Vilgax is down, that's three. I'm above his head, he doesn't see me. Yes, we got him, that's seven. Nice, we got him, that's all the kills we need. Now let's quickly fly to the top of their mountain and let's unmorph so we can try out Cannon Bolt. And now I'm Cannon Bolt. Okay, let's try some of his abilities, let's try this one. Oh, now we're going straight down and boom! Then if I use two, you're gonna see I start throwing TNT everywhere while spinning in my shell. Okay, here we go, we're going down and boom! And now let's use our third ability which allows us to roll away and escape any situation we find ourselves in. Which means it's the perfect time to roll away and head back home. So with Cannon Bolt, our new alien officially unlocked, there's literally two aliens aliens to go. We have Wild Vine and Alien X. Let's work on Wild Vine. All we have to do is break 5,000 blocks, grow a tree in the end, kill the Ender Dragon, and then get 10 kills as Cannon Bolt. But since time is super limited at this point, let's do the end stuff now. So let's make our way into the nether and head to the nether fortress. Okay, we've got a bunch of blaze rods. Now let's head to a bastion and trade for some e-pearls. Okay, we're at the bastion. Let's grab these two gold blocks on the outside right here. And now let's jump down to the bottom here and grab all these gold blocks behind me. There we go. That should be enough gold blocks. Now we just have to trade with all the piglins. Okay, and now we just wait for all these dudes to do a bunch of trading. Okay, we have 18 total ender pearls in our inventory. And that means we officially have everything we need from the nether. Now let's go back to the base and simply start prepping to battle the ender dragon. Okay, so before we go to the end, there's a few things we gotta do. We need to grab growing a tree supplies. I mean, look, the quest says grow a tree in the end. So we should just need some dirt. This oak sapling. So let's go upstairs and throw our first eye of ender. Okay, it's going that way. Let's start flying in this direction till we reach the end portal. Okay. It's gotta be around here somewhere. The eye went back in this direction. Oh no, it's definitely down here. It's right here. It just went down, it went down. Oh, booyah, here it is. And we're officially in the stronghold. Let's go find the end portal somewhere. Yes, I found the portal. Now let's put the eyes in and now let's go take on the dragon. Okay, let's turn into stink fly. So that way we can easily take out all of the dragon's towers. Okay, all the crystals are taken out. Now let's just take out the dragon. 
Yes, we killed him. Just before he perched, we got him. Now let's grow a tree. So let's simply put a piece of dirt down, put our sapling down, and now let's just get it with a bunch of bone meal till, well, there we go. And now we just have to break 5,000 blocks and get 10 kills as cannonball to finish this alien. So normally I'd just leave and go kill Vilgax right now. But we're actually gonna go to the outer end because if we look at our Omnitrix and we look at the last alien, Alien X, he has to discover an end ship. So let's quickly go to an end ship and just get that quest complete. Even after traveling to eight different end cities, I was unable to find one with an Elytra ship. That's gotta be a new record, right? Anyway, on day 95, I finally did find one with an Elytra ship. Oh, we got a new one. We have another end city. Oh, yes, it has it. And now when we land on this, we'll complete the end city quest now that we got the city at the end of the game. So now let's just simply fly back to the portal and head on home. Okay, there's only four days remaining and that's not much time to unlock two aliens. All we need to do is quickly break 5,000 blocks and then get 10 kills on Vilgax and his cronies. And then we'll be able to work on Alien X, which just requires a bunch of kills now. So let's quickly break 5,000 blocks. And there we go, just like that, we've officially plowed through 5,000 blocks, meaning now we just need 10 kills. So let's quickly wait one minute so we can turn to Stink Fly and fly our way to Vilgax's base. Okay, their base is up here, I see the fire. Okay, this is their base right here. Let's get the rest of the kills so we can unlock Wild Vine. Let's kill this guy. Okay, there we go. Now let's fly to the top of the mountain over here and quickly unmorph. And now we're gonna survive a whole minute till we can turn into Cannon Bolt. Transform, we're Cannon Bolt. And now quickly, spin! Throw TNT everywhere! Oh, we're definitely gonna get him here. Here we go, ready? Oh, we got him with the sword. Okay, that's one kill. All our armor is pretty much broken, so we're weak now. Let's actually go see if we can make some armor inside their base. Quick, go this way over to their base. Now let's quickly get inside. Block off the entrance. Now let's see if they have any diamonds. They have diamonds. Yes, let's go. There's a crafting table. We need to make some armor. Let's make a chest plate real quick. There we go. Let's make leggings. Put those on. Nice. We got armor. We got armor. We got armor. Nice. We got him. He's dead. Now let's go and let's break out of here. And now let's fight them again. We should be good now that we have armor again. That's six kills. Not the time! Okay, we gotta get to the water. I see a dolphin. I see a dolphin. I see a dolphin. And yes, come on. Give me dolphins, Grace. Nice, we can turn into cannon bolt again. Let's go back. Let's go back. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Ready? You can't shield it. You can't shield it. Oh, they tried to blow me up. Nice, we got him. Nice, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, we just need one more kill and we can unlock Wild Vine. Nice, we got Vilgax. Let's go over here real quick. And now we can turn into Wild Vine. Now, I don't know what he does, but we're currently surrounded, so we're gonna figure it out. I just summoned a bunch of bees and dogs to fight for me. Go! Now, just keep whipping him with our vine. Keep whipping him with our vine. Nice, we got him with Wild Vine. Okay, so before they catch up and kill me, if you look real close, you're gonna notice I now no longer have an Omnitrix timer, and that's because it's now max level, which means I can turn into any alien anytime I want, which means this fight just got 10 times easier since all we have to do is unlock Alien X, which means we just have to get a kill with each of the aliens. So let's start with Stinkfly. Boom! There's our killer Stinkfly. Now let's randomize it and turn into Wild Vine. Nice, he's done. Now let's get our killer's Cannon Bolt. Oh, we got him. We're definitely gonna get him here. Ready? Nice, we gotta kill his cannon bolt. Now let's transform into Ghost Freak. And there we go, we gotta kill his Ghost Freak. Now let's become Upgrade. Nice, we gotta kill his Upgrade. Now let's go ahead and turn into Rip Jaws. Nice, we got a Rip Jaws kill. So now let's get to kill his forearms. Now let's just turn into Gray Matter. Okay, we got our Gray Matter kill. Now let's become Accelerate. And with our super speed, they can't even touch us. There we go, Vilgax down. Now let's become Diamond Head. Nice, we got our killer's diamond head. Now it's time to become Wild Mutt. He dropped his weapon, and now he's done. In fact, give me that. That's another right sword, right? Well, let's turn into our last alien, which is Heat Blast. Who can simply fly back up over this way? And just like that, we have all the kills with all the aliens. Transform, we can fly now, which means we can get away and get out of here. Okay, since all we have to do left to unlock our last alien is simply to kill a warden. Let's just go get that done with real fast. Okay, we're in an end city. We just gotta set off all the shriekers in here. There we go, warden should be spawning now. There you are, big and ugly. Okay, we poisoned the warden. Let's just get him here. There we go, the warden's dead. And with that, we can officially turn into Alien X, who has 100 total hearts, strength 10, speed 10, jump 10. He can literally fly, and he's got three incredible powers, which I'll quickly show you on the surface. Now, as Alien X, I have a really cool item in my inventory called Matter Manipulation. And you're gonna see that when I right click with this thing, I can start painting bedrock into the world, meaning I can trap Vilgax in a bedrock box, just like this. Alien X can also summon a black coal and this black hole will suck in anything within 20 blocks of it and explode then we also have this ability here which is gonna drop a meteor from the sky onto the area and then our final ability will ban anyone from the server so let's save that for vilgax if he tries to stop me from getting to day 100 after unlocking alien x ben 10 was finally at full strength but it wasn't day 100 quite yet and of course vilgax was gonna do everything in his power to stop me from getting there and so he made his final attack on day 99 i see one of them in the woods they're right behind me let's start putting back Bedrock around, ready? Just try to trap him. What is happening? Let me out. Dude, yes, he's trapped. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> he just put dude in jet. Okay, we have one of them trapped. Oh, they're trying to free him. No, he blew himself up. That's how he freed himself. Dang it. I didn't think about that. Okay, let's try doing a black hole. Ready? Let's put a black hole right here. Oh, they're sucked in the middle of that. Oh, look at that. I hear him taking damage. Boom! Alien X is broken. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try Alien X's ban ability. You shoot me while you can, because uh, guess what happens now? You're banned! I've been banned from existence. <laughs> you're, you're gone? Now we have to wait a full 120 seconds to use that again. So for now, let's just keep killing Vilgax. Two left to go, and we can almost ban them a third time. I kind of want to trap Alien in Bedrock and keep him as like a pet. You know what? Vilgax, get out of here. I'm trying to get a pet alien. Yeah, you're banned, Vilgax. See you later. And now there's only one left. I'm stuck. Did I trap him? He's somewhere trapped in my bedrock. No! <laughs> I don't want to be a pet alien. On second thought, I'm not even going to ban the alien from the server. I'm just going to let him stay trapped in the bedrock forever while we go off and survive until day 100 since we only have to survive one more night. Meaning let's sit ourselves on this mountain until the sun rises on day 100. And with the sun rising on day 100, that means Ben 10 actually officially wins right now. And he's fully survived this challenge. Meaning yes, Ben 10 can survive 100 days in Minecraft. Bye. Ah.